It was originally designed to take pressure off our roads, but now the state government is hoping the new Sydney Metro from Rouse Hill to Bankstown will create a housing boom through the city's southwest. The government unveiling revised plans for major housing developments, although some locals are sceptical. Along the southwestern arm of the Sydney Metro, from Sydenham to Bankstown, is where the state government is hoping to create 35,000 new homes for Sydney's growing population. Its initial plan two years ago was met with outrage from some residents in the inner west. But a revised plan released today looks to have conceded some ground. For the inner western suburbs of Dulwich Hill and Hurlston Park, there appears to be a victory for local residents groups with a substantial reduction in medium and medium to high rise apartment blocks. The government's revised strategy for increased housing development will now focus on the corridor of stations further west. Canterbury, Campsie, Belmore, Lakemba, Wiley Park, Punchbowl and Bankstown. Canterbury and Bankstown acting as economic bookends with increased business and enterprise zoning. But resident groups say the devil remains in the to be released oh, okay. detail. The detailed suburb by suburb precinct plans, we have to wait for until um, Tuesday. But at the moment, um, we don't see a mitigation of the pressures that this will put on our suburb. And the expectation of redevelopment has fuelled cashed up speculators. People knocking on the door saying, you know, if, if the guy beside you sold up, would you sell up? But further down the line at Campsie, it was welcomed news. I think it'd be great to see some development here. It'd be great for the guys that already live here to benefit from what comes with that development. Mike Dalton, Nine News.